In this video, I'm going to be talking about how we put on the full armor of God and why we should be doing it daily. So why would we need to put on the full armor of God and why is it important to do it daily? Let me read you a verse from the Bible of what the full armor of God is and I will explain a little more in depth of why this is so important to make it a daily practice in your lives. And this is from Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11 through 18. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel. So do you guys think that maybe, in these most perilous and turbulent times that we are in, that the full armor of God is needed more now than it has ever been before? We live in a time where from the moment we are born, we are bombarded constantly by advertisements, the media, social pressure, and the environments that surround us. Everything is always trying to grab at our attention and steal away our focus from what is truly important. Staying guarded and remaining in a peaceful state is almost unimaginable in the turmoil of society nowadays. We have terrorists running around killing people and themselves. We have possessed, deplorable people walking around trying to steal our energy. Have you ever heard of a succubus? Or how about an energy vampire? Because there are literally people out there that have damned themselves and have dug their pit so far into the dirt that it has become a black hole to live in. Do you know what a black hole can do? It steals all the light around it. It becomes a vacuum where nothing can escape from it. And let me ask you guys a serious question, and I want you to answer honestly here. Do you think you have friends, or maybe even family, that seem to wear you down and steal your energy? Now I'm not saying that you should disregard your friends or your family, but what I am saying is that after you perform this meditation and do it daily, which is putting on the full armor of God, then you won't need to. They will either see your light and example and try to scrape themselves out of the situation that they have dug themselves into, or they will not be able to withstand the light that you will be emitting from your own aura. You will see people around you start to change and your light will help facilitate that change. Lower vibrational entities will not be able to bother you anymore. This includes discarnate entities. So for those who believe that they are getting a psychic greeting or a psychic attack, then this meditation is especially for you. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. This is what the spiritual community calls grounding. It is you consciously connecting to Mother Earth and asking for her protection and guidance. I will teach you how to do this in this meditation video. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. When you do this meditation, you will never be led astray. The Holy Spirit will be with you always, and it will guide you and will not let you fail. It is only when you don't listen to the Spirit that you will make mistakes, and that you will be led astray. But when you are consciously following the truth, and mean no harm to anyone or anything, and always stay in your peace, then your aura becomes vibrant. Let me ask you, when you walk into a room full of people, do you think those people will automatically feel love emanating from you, or do you think they will feel fear from you? Because I guarantee that most will have some thoughts about you as soon as you walk into a room. What feelings or other emotions would you like people to feel about you almost instantaneously? Would you want them to feel peace when you enter into a room? Would you want them to feel love, to feel joy whenever you walk by? Because these are the effects that you will have on others when you practice this meditation daily, I guarantee it. And above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. 
This is my favorite part of the meditation that I use and why I think it is the most powerful shielding meditation that is around. I have not found another meditation that uses this technique of shielding that I use. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The sword of the spirit is that connection we share with the source of all. We are tethered to God and our bodies are designed to work as an antenna that works like a transmitter or a receiver. Our brain is the transmitter and our heart is the receiver. Whatever we say or do becomes who we are. Our thoughts come from the spiritual realm and filter down into our physical universe. If someone really believes that they are unworthy or hopeless, does that not become their reality? And on the other hand, if someone desires to live their dreams, what could possibly stop them beside their belief that they can't? Whatever we say or do becomes our word, i.e. the word of God. Because like magic, whether if it is believed or spoken, it will most likely happen. And that mostly depends on how strong your will is. And can you guess what the helmet of salvation is? It is our pineal gland, what some say to be the throne of God. And let me ask you, are ye not a son or daughter of the Creator? This is the process needed to become as powerful as a God, where none can destroy you, for we are girded up with the truth and the light. None can touch you when you are in your sacred space. This is the way the laws of the universe are set up. You cannot be harmed or misguided when you have put the full armor of God on. So let's go ahead and get started with the meditation. First, relax and breathe. Wait until you are comfortable and fully relaxed. I usually have my arms in a prayer stance at this moment. Imagine an etheric cord that extends from the bottom of your spine, extending from your root chakra down into the earth. This is what is called grounding. Now imagine going deeper and deeper into the earth until you are at its core. Imagine it's warm and glowing with a bright orange light. Now imagine that the earth's core energy, this orange bright light, is flowing up through the cord, up through your root chakra, to your sacral, and to your solar plexus chakras, filling you with a bright orange glow. Let it fill these areas to heal you and warm you up. Now imagine this cord flowing from your heart center up through the top of your head, up and up and up until you have reached the center of the universe, the source of all which you came from and all souls and beings come from. Imagine from this source a white light flowing down from your cord and into your body. Let it mix with the earth's energy until your body is full of a pinkish-like energy. This should be all very relaxing and healing for you. And once it is mixed all around your body, imagine a bright white light that completely surrounds you, covering you from head to toe. Go ahead and bathe in this white light. Let it purify and cleanse you. Let all worries and guilt and stress pass from you. Let everything just be for once and forgive all who have come across your path. Now, when you feel ready for the next step, Imagine a bright golden light encompassing your aura and the white light, letting it completely surround you. This gold light is meant to protect you, to sanctify you, and to keep you safe. It is a very guarding light and will never let any harm come your way. Take your time and whenever you feel ready to move on to the next step, imagine a platinum-like substance. If you have seen the matrix you will know what I'm talking about, covering all the layers of light that you now have surrounding you. This silvery reflective substance will deflect any negative attacks and will keep you hidden from your enemies, what they call the fiery darts of the devil. This is your shield. Now after you feel like it has completely enveloped you, seal up all your layers, the white light, the gold, and the platinum like substance with the golden seal of the sun, what some call the eye of Rodin or Ra, if you want to visualize it, by circling your arms wide, starting at your forehead and swinging them around and up again through your chakras to right back again at your forehead. Finish off by giving your gratitude for this protection and guidance and awaken and arise from the meditation, feeling sanctified and endowed with power, having put on the full armor of God. Namaste.